Hello everyone and welcome to the 2022 Mepham Spring Concert. This is the Choral Edition. I myself am very excited. I'm Riley Freed and I am joined here today by my co-host Charles Decker. Are you excited? Are you as excited as I am, Charles? You know, Riley, I really appreciate the introduction and you characterize my feelings perfectly. I'm just so, so excited. I can't wait for this spring concert. I've been waiting since September, since, since, since before we even knew for sure that the spring concert would be right now, and it's finally happening, and I, I really almost can't believe it, Riley. What, what more do you think of the spring concert? I'm also very excited. I mean, I think that this is a great, great opportunity for the choral groups to be able to showcase their voices and showcase all of the songs that they've been working so hard on since the very successful winter concert. Did you see the winter concert, Charles? Because I did. I, I thought it was really, really great. I thought every group performed very well at the winter concert. Actually, my younger brother was involved in the winter concert, and fortunately because of that, I kind of had an excuse to show up and listen to the winter concert. And honestly, I was, as, as someone who doesn't play an instrument myself, I was floored. Like, they did a great, a great job, and whenever they tuned into a solo, it, it, the heat of the moment was just amazing. I, they, they picked the right person to do the right part, and the music that was, were coming out of those, those brass instruments was really, truly something to behold. I 110% agree with you. I think the students that we have this year in the music program are incredibly talented. On all different levels, in the orchestra, in the chorus, and also in the band. So now we're getting ready to uh, see our first group. And um, the first group that will be performing is the um, concert choir, who is led by Miss Pincus, um, one of the choral directors here at MEPM, and at Kennedy, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, this group is consisting of sophomores to seniors. Uh, they all share a very strong love for music, and they love to showcase their voices. So let's see what they have to bring us. Good luck, guys. Break a leg. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Thank you for coming out. My name is Andy Del Rosario, and on behalf of, wow, those are bright. <laughs> on behalf of Principal Gomez and our Director of Fine Arts, Fine and Performing Arts, Ms. Fontana, and the Central Office Administration and the Belmore Merrick Central High School Board of Education, we would like to welcome you to Mepham High School and our spring concert. Please rise for the pledge. I pledge allegiance Thank you. And before we get started, a few thank yous to some of our amazing staff. We wouldn't be here with our music department and our incredible students who work tirelessly throughout the year work extra hours before and after school. Uh, we have Mr. Brandofino, our band director, Ms. Demetrio and Ms. Pincus, our choral directors, Ms. Shum and Ms. Kenyon, our orchestral directors. 
Thank you to the board, thank you to the students, thank you to the families for all your support, and please sit back and enjoy our mixed chorus under the direction of Ms. Dimitrio. Hello everyone, thank you so much. Like he said, I'm Ms. Dimitrio. I'm one of the choir directors here at Mepham High School. Um, before we get started, I just wanna ask that you take a moment to silence your cell phones as it's distracting to the performers and to the audience members. Um, also, I wanna let you know, at the back of your program, there's a QR code available, um, which you can scan by using the camera on your phone. Um, and if you go to that, it brings you to program notes with information about each ensemble, the songs they are performing, and the soloists that you will be hearing this evening so that you don't hear me talking about it the whole afternoon. You can scan that um, QR code and read it there. Um, as Mr. Del Rosario said, the first ensemble you will hear tonight is our mixed chorus made up of three different classes taught by myself and Ms. Jeanette Pincus. Uh, Ms. Chorus, mixed chorus will begin their set with Can You Hear? Enjoy. Can you hear my cries? Can you see my eyes? I am calling out to you.
will conclude their set with something a little bit more uplifting than too good at goodbyes. <laughs> Say a little prayer. We hope you enjoy it as much as we do. Hey. Well, <laughs> welcome, back. welcome back. First and foremost, I want to apologize. You know, live television, things go wrong all the time. I introduced the wrong group. That was Mixed Chorus, led by Miss Demetrio, who is a very well-known choral director here at MEPAM. The other choral director here at MEPAM, besides Miss Pincus. Um, she is in charge of both um, 
mixed chorus, and also Mepa Capello, who we will be seeing a little bit later tonight. And this group is only comprised of freshmen, which I completely missed the mark on. So I'm very, very sorry about that. Personally, I loved their performance. What was your favorite song, Charles? For me, it was too good for goodbyes. Really, I love I love Sam Harris. I love stuff you said, James Vaughn. I mean, that's my bread and butter. Bread, Sam Harris, butter, James Vaughn. <laughs> you put those two together, you get something great. And too good for goodbyes. Their performance was truly spectacular. Sam Harris is definitely an interesting name for you to choose, um, considering that song is by Sam Smith. <laughs> That's because my reading and listening skills are not up to par. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. I could see that. Yeah. Um, personally, my favorite song was the last one, Say a Little Prayer. I think that song was so cute. I loved the soprano part. I think that the girls on that one really carried their weight, and I think their voices carried over everyone else's and really carried the melody and the chorus of that song. I think it was absolutely beautiful. Now, coming up next, this time, instructed by Miss Pincus, is Concert Choir. This group is the one that I introduced last time. This is the group comprised of sophomores, two seniors, and they all love to sing. Obviously, I hope they do, right? Oh, yes, they do. <laughs> I've seen it myself. <laughs> of course. All right, good luck, guys. Go get them. Break, break your other leg. <laughs> I can't say. This next ensemble you will hear is our concert choir, made up of students grades 10 through 12. Concert choir will begin their set with two pieces from the famous musical, West Side Story. We hope you enjoy. Thank you. 
oh, sorry. <laughs> Concert Choir's final piece, For Good, is dedicated to the seniors of Concert Choir. This group of students is incredibly special to me, as their freshman year was my first year teaching at MEPA. The seniors in this ensemble include Leanne Gazzi, Victoria Gibney, Chloe Henderson, Anthony Caragianis, Aliza Kazmi, Logan Lodiguchi, Amelia Mandato, Zarissa Moreno, Lexi Nelson, Victoria O'Shea, Catherine Olson, Danielle Radziski, Lauren Richards, Alex Rodriguez, Olivia Rooney, Maria Torres, Molly Walsh, Sophia Zizzo. Yeah, give it up for the seniors. My seniors, it has been a pleasure and a privilege getting to work with you over the past four years. I thank each and every one of you for helping me grow as a teacher and as a musician. Because I knew you, I am changed for good. I do. 
And we're back. We're back. Oh, yes, we are. Wow. Wow. Concert all choir wet. was incredibly sophisticated. I thought that they were beautiful with every song they sang. And I would tell you my favorite. However, I don't even think I can. I mean, choosing between a West Side Story medley, the beautiful, soulful sounds of Shenandoah, and even going on to sing one of the greatest Broadway songs ever created in the musical rendition of the Wh Wizard of Oz? Like, that is... That's the impossible question. It is so hard to choose your favorite. I thought that all of the soloists sang beautifully. Their voices were just... They blended so well with the chorus. What do you think, Charles? I think they treated each piece with just so much respect for, for the original intent and performance. I, I, I feel like they truly honored all of the, the Broadway shows that they've really brought, brought to the Methum community's ears. I, and, and I think it's, it's an incredible thing because it's not just anything that anyone can just show up and do. It takes dedication, practice, and, and, and a, a commitment. I 100% agree with you. I can guarantee that those groups worked tirelessly on their pieces in order to present the most accurate depiction of these beautiful songs that they possibly could. And man, did they do a really great job at it. Concert choir was absolutely beautiful and a treat to me and Charles's ears. Charles and I's ears? Do you know which one's correct? Eyes. Ears, eyes, nose, ears, mouth, heads, the face, shoulders, knees, and toes. Everything. A macarena. Oh, like. I think. I think maybe let's move back to the ears, because I we're we're in for just our ears better have quite the appetite because <laughs> down the road Mempa Capella is going to show up and they're just going to they're going to go. <laughs> Ballistic. We are just getting <laughs> to the main course oh, of our oh. night. Or maybe the dessert. Maybe this is the dessert. This maybe. is the sweet, the sweet, decadent dessert of our night at the Mepham Spring concert. Because now we get to see the one, the only Mepha Capella. What a treat. This group is also directed by Miss Demetrio herself, the beautiful woman. And Incredible. this group, you have to try out in order to get into it. It's um, consisting of all grade levels so that the talent can be spread and diverse. And these people have a real true love for what they do. They have a really strong connection with their voices and expressing themselves through their voices. I'm excited. Are you excited? Yeah, I can't wait to see the, the, just the, pl the passion bleed out through their voices into the air and then back into <laughs> our ears. I can't wait. They're so hungry. Good luck, <laughs> They're guys. Starving. Go yeah, get them. Which is crazy because th they've had a lot.
group of singers is Mepa Capella, the advanced audition-based a cappella ensemble here at Mepham High School, made up of about 25 students grades 9 through 12. The next piece you will hear is Tracy Chapman's Give Me One Reason. Enjoy. back around give me one reason to stay here oh and I'll turn my right back around said I don't want to leave you lonely but you gotta make me change my mind baby I got your number
for coming tonight and for continuing to support the music department at Metham. Good night and joy be with you all. That was killer. That wow. was, um, I'm blown away. I'm surprised I'm still able to compose myself enough to just be in this chair and be able to talk about what just happened. I mean, they are just incredible. The blending of their voices, the way that it all fits together like one big puzzle, that is just ear candy. It is yeah. beautiful. They did a wonderful job. Charles, do you, do you have a favorite song? Because I'm still finding it hard to choose. Do you have a favorite song? You know what? If I had to pick a favorite song, I'd, I'll go with, I'll give you one reason. Why? Well, I'll, I'll, I'll give you <laughs> one reason. That's a good one. It's, <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, uh, one reason is, is that you could feel the weight, like, as they were delivering the lines in the song, you could almost feel like that they themselves really meant what they were saying and that they carried the energy as though they had wrote the song themselves. Like, they had just built up such a presence on the stage and really, really let, let express themselves through this song. I totally get what you mean. I mean, I think the element of having so many soloists and giving so many kids a chance to pull in their own rendition of the solo with with all of the fluctuation and voice adding in their own vibratos their own like little elements change in melodies here and there i think it was a beautiful individualized piece well unfortunately all good things must come to an end charles that i know is just Wow, you that's know, just how life is. There's... We just have to wait until next year yeah. when we oh. get to do this all over again. Oh, next yeah. week? Oh, yeah, there's, there's spring concert part two, part three, part four, part four. There are not five parts to the spring concert. No I'll clarify Charles. that right now. There's I not. just wish there was, on a personal, individual level, I wish there was 20 parts to the spring concert. And we had it uh, during school hours, actually. I wish we all just gathered around, had yeah. an assembly, yeah. and just listened listen to, these, to these wonderful yeah. students. To do the wonderful things they do. Yeah, I totally get you, Charles. Well, be sure to tune in next week for the next spring concert, which is showcasing the orchestra and the band. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Yeah, thank you. We hope that you enjoyed the music just as much as we did. Great job to all of the choral groups, and we'll see you guys next time. See you next week. Have a good night. Bye.